oh. audition for Married with Children, and I was, I was such a serious kid. I had no sense of humor whatsoever. And I read this, and I'm like, this is just gross. I do not want to audition for this. This is gross. So I didn't. I just I, I passed on the whole thing. At the time, 14-year-old Christina was co-starring in her first network television drama, Heart of the City. But the low-rated series was canceled before the end of the first season. I went and I did my series, and I guess they went and did the pilot. Well, originally, the, the, uh, the Bud and Kelly those characters were played by two other actors. In the pilot, I think the producers felt that they were going to have to make a change. And they came back um, after they had seen my, the show that was on and said, please, please, we're, we're replacing these people and we know that your show just got canceled, so please come in. We'll send you a copy of the pilot. And my mom and I sat down and we both did not want to like this at all. I didn't want to like it. I'm like, this is garbage. And we put it on and it was just the funniest thing I had ever seen. And I said, okay, I'll go. And didn't you actually audition with David or did you guys? Yeah, we yeah. kind of, there was a reading that happened. Um, it was just sort of, I, I don't even really remember the process so much because I wasn't, I didn't know how into the whole thing I was. And I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't funny, so I wasn't comfortable with comedy at that point, really. But it just, yeah, there he was. He was little, little guy. So cute. When Christina and I went in together, even at, even though I was only 12 at the time, like I just knew like this was the right. It just felt like it was happening. The role of Kelly Bundy wasn't well defined, so Christina struggled to make the part her own. Let go of my hair, you little psychopath. Die, call me bimbo. <laughs> Maybe they wrote one or two jokes where Kelly was dumb and Christina just played it really well. And it's like, okay, let's try that. And she's got a great sense of comedy. Oh, I like to put on a little soft music, get a little fire going, and listen to my brother inflating his dates. <laughs> she's got a great um, understanding of what makes something funny. Initial ratings for the sitcom were mediocre. Then conservative groups protested the racy comedy. But the publicity actually attracted viewers. And it just sort of backfired and put us on the front page of the New York Times. And before we knew it, the show, everybody was watching the show. By the end of the second season, Married with Children was a hit. And Christina Applegate, a star. Did you ever meet the other girl that had been cast as Kelly? Should I even talk about this story? Um, yeah, I will. I, uh, yes, I used to dance with her when we were kids. And, uh, <laughs> um, she, she was, uh, yeah, she wasn't very nice to me in our dance class. Yeah. So when this all happened, um, I kind of had a, a feeling of calm about myself when it all happened. It just didn't work, whatever the, the ingredients were, it just didn't work. So, but I, I, yeah, I did know her. And it was weird seeing her afterwards, you know, it was, it was a strange feeling. Kelly ended up becoming a very different character than, obviously, as she matured. What was that like? Overgressed, yes. I like to say. Yeah, well, I mean, at first, it, we didn't really know who she was supposed to be. I don't think the writers really knew. Um, and for me, it, it, my inspiration really came from this movie called uh, The Decline of Western Civilization Part Two. And there was a girl in there who had won the Ghazari's contest, and she was very blonde and very done up, and they asked her, what are you going to do next? And she said, I'm going to concentrate on my modeling and my actressing. And I said, oh my God, that's it. That's who this person is. So we went shopping for a bunch of lycra, and I didn't, you know, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I just knew that this person had to be immortalized in some way. So I had to learn about my sexuality after having already put it out there. I didn't even know what I was doing yet. I was very young, and um, I think it was still, it wasn't until after the show was over that I really found that part of myself. I really had to find it for myself instead of it being sort of forced upon me. Christina has no regrets about playing Kelly Bundy, but there's one best-selling poster she wishes we'd all forget. The infamous uh, eagle snake poster. <laughs> she talked about that? <laughs> See, I was going to bring it today, and I thought, I can't bring that. <laughs> she hates that poster. I mean, at the time, it, it's very, it's totally 80s, bro. But I know that it haunts her. 
Yeah, I have it actually in my garage, framed very nicely. <laughs> my character was a huge fan favorite. Oh well, yeah, you go out there in a mini skirt, I think, you know. <laughs> Anyone's gonna like you. Oh, the pressure! Kelly, you have to go to school. Kelly, you have to pass. Kelly, you have to learn to read. Come on now, sweetheart. I know you can pass. You're a smart girl. <laughs> that was interesting, being put in that position and, and, and sort of sometimes not really being considered an actor anymore, you know? You're, you're just kind of the, the blonde hottie. You know, it was, it, was, it was an interesting thing to have to battle through. Was there ever a point where it was just too much for you? Oh, oh yeah. I mean, I, I dreaded every Friday night. I dreaded having to put on that skirt and that belt. And, and I mean, I loved playing this character, but going through the things that you physiologically go through, um, you emotionally go through when you're a teenager, and then still having to, it's, it, there's so many body image things that are going on anyway when you're growing up that um, it, it, I think it really, it really tested my, my self-image a lot. It's a strange cycle, too, when you think about it, like, at your age, having your own self-image issues or dealing with your own self-image, and then yet you're this character that's putting out those images. Right. It's just she's a strange. Yeah. She has, she's confident, so she's very comfortable in her skin, and no girl at 17 is comfortable in her skin. So having to kind of play this character that was so comfortable in her skin was really, it was a challenge. It was really, it was interesting. Coming up, fandemonium. They, they're chasing us out, and I thought, what is going on? And later... I think that people would be surprised to know that. On the, and this and that, and, and it was just, it, it was like, it was unbelievable. And it got a little scary. I mean, they were, you know, and especially with Christina, we all sort of kind of had a you know, huddle around and get get everybody off, but make sure she was sort of in, in the middle because, um, you know, it got a little nuts. And I thought, what is going on? Why do people care? Kelly Bundy's fans pumped up the volume at show tapings. The applause would just go, you know, wild, and then I'd come out and they'd be go, oh, okay, that's nice, there's Marcy, okay. Big hoops and hollers and... You know, cat whistles. It's got to be a little odd when you're 17 years old. Producers capitalized on Christina's sexy image. They increased the amount. The clothes got tighter. Remember, you know, they always wanted her to be in short skirts. They always wanted her to have low cut, you know. I remember one year, she wanted to dye her hair. She didn't want to have blonde hair, and so she, she wore a wig for a whole season because she dyed her hair. But the producers were adamant that she had to be blonde. Well, they loved that bimbo thing, and she'd go in and out of feeling really uncomfortable with it. Christina struggled to live up to that image. Dieting became a way of life. I used to say, you're too skinny. You know, why don't you eat something? Because she'd get so thin. And I knew it was because she was concerned about the weight, you know, and she wouldn't eat. And she would get really thin. And when she was really skinny, she felt, well, I look all right now. I really felt for her because the, those are hard years and hard changes to go through, like, on national television. The tabloids picked up on Christina's struggle with her weight, but that was just one of many unflattering stories that were published during the show's run. At one point they said that I was dating Ed, which is just, I mean, disgusting, first of all, because he was my like, father figure to me. So funny because, of course, I ran out and bought a few copies, you know, and I brought them to work the next day, and I was... I was overjoyed, you know, I was passing them around. And of course she came in with the exact opposite feeling, you know. She was, you know, horrified that they would come out with this sort of thing. The people still ask me about that, believe it or not. But nothing lasts forever, especially in television. In the spring of 1996, after 11 seasons on the air, Married with Children was abruptly canceled. The show ha was hugely successful. I mean, could you ever imagine 11 seasons? I think we all, no, I think we all took the show thinking it was going to be 13 weeks. When, and each year was just a big surprise to us. And it just kept going on and on and on and on and on. And we just expected it to just keep going. And then it was just pop, it was over. So strange. A relief? Such a strange. Yeah, it, 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 
I think it was a relief because at, at that point, I think we all just needed to go find who we were. Um, David and I, especially having grown up in this environment, um, being raised by these people, wonderfully being raised by these people, because we were with them more than we with, were with our own families. But just having to find who we really were as, as, as adults now, because now we're adults, it was so strange. Um, but you know, they didn't tell us that we, you know, they didn't tell us that we got canceled and it was all very weird. It was just very weird how it happened. It was very sad. That was awful. We didn't know it was the last episode at all. And it was very um, depressing, actually. It was sad first and then I was relieved, I think. She called me after, I don't know, a month or so. And she was very emotional about, you know, I love you and I miss you and all that sort of thing. And, I, and it took me by surprise that she really felt that loss that, you know, of not being there every day, that she had, she was saying, oh, I took it for granted and I, I, and I didn't realize how I enjoyed it and all that sort of thing, which was kind of touching, you know. I love her and, and I miss her. Coming up, Christina's world comes crashing down. I remember coming in one time and she just looked gray. And later, I was kind of like, oh, God, do I want to do this again? Work after that. And then I took a break for a little while. And then the other one came along. The other one was a starring role in a new situation comedy from the creators of Friends. Now, how did they woo you back to do Jesse? They uh, approached me with a show that was already kind of set. It was already a show that was bought. And I was kind of like, oh, God, do I want to do this again? And um, I don't know. I'm kind of nervous about this. It seems but like was something so hard to say no to. I mean, yeah, kind of, yeah. When they say that here's, here's the cake and they're really, you know, and we'll put the icing on for you and you don't have to do a darn thing. It's all there. It's all set up for you. So... <laughs> I said, okay. So what do you got there? Oh, uh, it's a brochure for a nursing school. You're going to nursing school? Oh, I'm going to miss you so much. Maybe someday I'll get a disease and you can nurse me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be great. The NBC series Jesse premiered in September 1998, following Friends, the most coveted time slot on television. How was it different being part of such a ensemble cast and then between Christina and her former TV dad. Where have you been, young lady? <laughs> How are you doing, Christina? <laughs> Ed O'Neill wasn't the only face from Christina's past to visit the show. David Faustino made a guest appearance during the first season. I don't know if you, if, you, if you caught a clip of that one. You might want to play a clip of that. Bob, do we have a clip of that? I think I can get you into a fully loaded Centuria for a price that really puts the aving in saving. <laughs> <laughs> they make you say that, don't they? <laughs> yeah. Casting stunts aside, the show didn't catch on. For the second season, producers retooled the concept and made major cast changes. Nothing worked. Jesse was canceled. 